guys welcome back to another one of my live makeovers i'm here with gorgeous diana today and it is her birthday on saturday so we're gonna do a birthday makeover on her today so i'm gonna go ahead and get started while i explain to you guys what we're gonna do so <clears throat> i've already done her eyebrows and i've already prepped her eyelids with primer so i'm just gonna add a primer to her skin i was telling her she has such amazing skin she has like no pores like it's perfect so we're gonna do like a glowy natural foundation and then I'm gonna do go glam on the lash and I'm not sure how dramatic I'm gonna go on her eye yet but this is the Becca backlighting primer so it's really pretty if you like that natural glow if you do like a light to medium coverage foundation this will um, show through like you'll just have that natural glow it makes the foundation look more like skin so I'm just doing it on the parts I do want to glow, so like her chin, her forehead, and a little bit on her cheeks. Okay, so we're gonna do, I really like the warm tones in her brown eyes, so we're gonna do like a golden look on her today. So I'm gonna start with Soft Brown, this is by MAC. And my favorite fluffy brush, this is my Sigma brush. And it's super wide, I really like it because it just really spreads the shadow like all across the lid. So I'm just defining her crease. And Diana doesn't normally wear a ton of makeup, right? But sometimes you said you go, you'll go full on glam, right? Sometimes. Like you'll, you'll do the drama. So what do you do when you go like, when you're doing a lot of makeup, what do you do? I try and do a smoky eye with a good eyeliner. A little, um, I probably about a highlighter on my cheeks and a, a lip color that pops, but it's very rare in, in between. I think I'm pretty lazy. I just don't put makeup on. <laughs> well, most of us are. I feel like everyone should have like an awesome go-to like 10 minute look when you like feel like putting on makeup, but you don't want to spend forever and like a really killer like going out look. And then you can like trade out colors or something like that, but. Okay, so what I did, this is just the transition color basically. So I brought it up pretty high on her. She has more of a narrow space between her brow and her lid, so I really want to open up her eyes and make them pop. So I do that by bringing the warm color up fairly high. I highlighted the brown bone a little bit before we started with, I think it was Fresh by Anastasia. It's not too bright, but it's light. And now I'm gonna go in with, um, this is another matte color. It's like a medium golden brown. I don't want to go too dark on her yet. I chose like a medium density lash for her before we started. So sometimes when you do a heavy lash, you don't need to go too dark on the lids because you'll already have that drama. So I'll probably smoke her out with liner for sure, but I'm not going to make her lids too dark. I always like to extend my shadow out a little bit this way. A lot of people will start stop right where their eye ends, and I feel like that makes your eyes look smaller. Like unless you have really like wide set eyes, like your eyes are fall apart, far apart. I always extend it out. And I feel like the trick to eyeshadow is just layering. Like I did my really light warm brown first. Now I'm doing a medium brown, and that way it will always look really blended. So same thing on that eye. And her lids tend to get more oily. That's what you were telling me earlier, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So for her, I did the MAC paint pot. And everyone's different. Like if you find that your eyeshadow crease is there throughout the day, you'll get little lines on it. You need mm -hmm. to use like an actual eyeshadow primer. A lot of people can get away with just concealer. Like the Tarte Shape Tape that I use, I really love that like as an eye primer, but not if someone has oily eyes. I have to go really thin with it. I feel like the paint pots, like they will stay forever. Like you can sleep in your makeup and it will like <laughs> still be there when you wake up, but you have to only use a little, otherwise it looks kind of chunky. Okay. This is one of the MAC like wet to dry shadows. So it's kind of like a metallic sheen. So I am gonna spray my brush with, this is Fix Plus by MAC. 
You can use water too. I feel like the Fix Plus has like more binders in it, so it helps the shadows stick, but I like my shadows like to look more shiny than glittery usually, so I'll get them wet. And then instead of like chunky and glittery, it'll just look like really metallic and really glowy. And this one's gold. I did a couple different golds on her before we started. I feel like with the warmth in her hair and the warmth in her eyes, she could pull off like even an orangey gold if she wanted to, but I wanted to stay a little bit more neutral. This one has kind of like a coppery gold, almost like a teeny bit of a rose gold hint underneath. So this one's really pretty. Like I feel like this color is really classy. Like you can wear it going out or you could even do this in the day and do like more of a natural lash. There's just not as much eyeliner or something. And I love when I'm pressing in like a metallic shadow or a glitter, I love these flat brushes. Some people use fluffy brushes and I like that, but I feel like this really packs on the pigment. Like I want a punch. I want it to be really shiny, really glowy. Especially when I do neutrals, like when I keep her lid so neutral, like my warm browns or something, I want there to be a pop somewhere. Like I don't want it to be too flat. So I really like doing that. Okay, open for me. All right, I think we're gonna tight line her liner today. And let's do, look at me. Let's do a brown and see what we think about that. I love black liner and I love brown liner when I don't want to go too, too dark. Okay, so I'm going to take a really dense angled brush. I'll hold it in front of her face so you can see. And this is a gel liner. I'm going to go right under her lashes. She was telling me she has more sensitive eyes. So if you get watery, we can, um, <laughs> we can go a different route. Okay, so go ahead and open and look down for me. I'm just gonna lift your lid and draw like right underneath her lashes. So I'm not really going like in that water line, that little bit of skin under the lashes. I'm more going like in between the lashes, like for me. If you, how are you doing? Are they watering? I'm good, I'm just <laughs> wondering if you'll do my liner for me every time I need it. Of course, we're neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and look down and kind of over this way. Over, over your way. Yes, there you go. perfect. If you're doing a client and you're doing this, it helps have them like look away from the brush because it's not very comfortable to like watch a brush coming at your eye. Okay, keep looking this way and down. Perfect. Is liner tricky for you? Sometimes. It is. Sometimes I want it really thin, and other times it just comes on like way. Good. a Mamie Winehouse. Do you do liquid or gel? Um, liquid, I think. They come in a little yeah. felt pen. Mm. Tells you how much I know about makeup. Liquid, I love liquid, especially if you have like oily lids and your makeup transfers, but it can be hard. Like I feel like too much pressure, and it's like game over. Yeah. Like you ruin your makeup. <laughs> I like the gel with like a really, you have to buy a nice like angled brush. Like I feel like you can get really awesome and expensive brushes, but if they're not packed really close together, these bristles, it mm -hmm. like spreads out too wide. Go ahead and close for me. I feel like gel has more control. Like if you have, if your eyeliner is hit or miss, it's nice. It takes longer. The liquid's so fast. Like if you master right. the liquid, you just kind of pat it on and you're like, right. perfect, I'm done. I'm doing like a little baby wing on her, just like a smoky one. I'm just feathering it out. And I, on the outside corner, I'm gonna do this line fairly thick because the base of the lashes I'm doing on her are pretty thick. But I feel like the trick to really have your eyes pop is to go thin on the inside, I've noticed. Especially when you have a more narrow lid, like when your eyes are open, I like to be able to see the different shadows, like not just a really thick line of liner. Okay, open. Perfect. Super pretty. I like the brown on you. It's like yeah. soft, but semi-dramatic. 
So it'd probably be more of a like a natural glam birthday, <laughs> birthday look. I feel like once you master that like medium look, like a, like more makeup than like your everyday ten minute look, mm -hmm. it's so easy to add. Like if you want to be smoky, you just go darker. Okay. Trying to add a little bit more Trisme, perfect. So on this outside. I don't like to pull at their eye too much when I'm doing the wing because when you tug at the skin and then you let go, it moves like it's in a different place. So I do lift her brow a little bit, but I'm not pulling this skin right here. If you're doing like a little bit of a wing, it's more of a flick that I'm doing. So I'm gonna smudge it. And gel liner tends to dry pretty quick which is good, like the matte drying ones, because they last longer, but you kind of have to be quick with it, or you have to keep, like I keep adding it back to my brush. Okay, open for me. Look over this way. Good, look over this way. Okay, good and close. So I like the way that looks. I want to add, open for me. I want to add a little bit more smoke, like right right in through this corner, like V it out a little bit. I think on her eyes, it's really pretty to leave like a lighter color on her lid and then I'm gonna add my drama over here. After I finish her eyes, I will tell you how to do like a smoky version of this look, super easy. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hop into a darker color. I think this is Ground Brown by MAC. Pretty much all the shadows in here are MAC or Anastasia. I always liked MAC because they have like the single shadows, so I can just like make my own palette, but Anastasia does that too now, and hers are really creamy. Have you ever used her shadows? I haven't, no. I feel like they blend, like the MAC ones are dry and they blend really well, but I feel like I have to layer more with the Anastasia one. I feel like I just can do a couple swipes. Can you go as thin as you want to with it as well? with the shadows. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like whatever color it is in the pan is like as dark as it's gonna get. Is that kind of what you're asking? Like if you yeah. don't want it to go too dark? Right. And you know what, that's something I feel like people do a lot. Like when they're trying to do a smoky eye, they don't do like a light transition color. Like, mm -hmm. like I'll show you and then I'll show the camera. Like this color, mm -hmm. I use it on you for the transition. I'm gonna show the camera too, like this one. I feel like you need one swipe of like a super like lighter than you think brown up here to make it blend otherwise you have like kind of this awkward <laughs> like smoky line and same thing I'm basically just creating a V on her so the smoke is right here I'm dragging it out a little bit and bringing it in about towards the middle and that's just gonna give her eyes drama but her lid is still going to have shape and definition because she has this lighter color right there. I'm all about the blending. I just like to do little circles. And I will lift the lid when I'm doing a client just to get like a really smooth blend. If I'm doing myself or when someone's doing yourself, sometimes if you just tip your head back a little bit and kind of look yeah look into the mirror it flattens everything out like if you're not getting a good blend and you do that usually it helps I'm just adding like that lighter color I did back on top just to further blend it soft brown and bamboo by MAC are like my favorite warm brown transition colors but I think they're getting rid of bamboo which is so sad to find it in another brand okay let me let's go ahead and put the lash on her right now if you guys have any questions logged into the chat this is a good time to ask so I really like the Callus brand glue because it dries really quick for me. And it has a little applicator brush so you can just brush it right on your lashes. Can you get that at Ulta or? I 
actually haven't checked it all the time. I always get it on Amazon because I anything I can order on Amazon, I do because I love it. I don't have to go to the store. But I, th I think so. I think it's a pretty common brand. Like I've seen it at beauty supply stores. And it's inexpensive. I think it's like six or seven dollars for a bottle and it lasts for a while. So usually like 10 seconds and it's good. Okay, I'm gonna have you look down for me, but don't close. Perfect. And you can blink if you need to, just don't close so they don't get stuck. Good. Those are pretty, those are fun. Is that me? Nice. These are those lashes, they're called lashes in a box. Let me show you. They come with like a whole ton of the same pairs. That's fun. So if you find a pair you like, like I wear lashes every day because it takes me like two seconds to put them on. And I just have one set I like, so I totally buy them in bulk. Every time I try and put my own lashes on, I look like one of the Muppets from Sesame Street. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Because they're not the right lash, or because they're hard to Cause they're get hard on. To put on. <laughs> it's halfway up to my eyebrows when I'm done. They are hard to put on. That's what everybody tells me. I think I need to like have people come over that have a hard time and watch them put it on. I think people put it on before it like dries, because then it's like it's gonna move around. Like it's you have to goofy. wait till it's like tacky a little oh. bit. Should do a class. Is the trick. I should. I have lash tutorials on my channel, but not like a demo. I want to have someone come over who like has a really hard time and like mm. teach them on camera and like uh, see what they're doing. That would be me. <laughs> yeah. Kind of embarrassing. <laughs> no, everyone has that problem. It's not embarrassing. It's hard for everybody. Because you can't see the, like the trick is to get it like on your lash line and you right. can, it's hard to see like when you're putting it on. Like I right. totally get it. They have lash applicators. They're like tweezers, but they have like a long base. Have you seen those? A little curl to it. Yes. Yeah, they have like a curl to it. And I bought it to see because I'm like, what's well, hard for people? I need to like figure out a really easy way. Does it work? No, I feel, for me it's harder. For I feel like it's awkward, but Is I want to have. I should let someone borrow it and see like if it's easier. Because everyone's different. Like what's easy for me is gonna be like not easy for someone else. Okay why those are setting. I'm still going to do mascara and I'm going to do some stuff to the bottom of her eyes. I am going to do her foundation. So this is Makeup Forever. I've been really loving their HD foundation. I guess it goes on really nice. I, with this foundation, because it's like not super full coverage, I like spread it on evenly with a brush and then I go in with the beauty blender and I press it in so she looks airbrushed. This foundation's so thin, like it's not really, it's in between like a cream and a liquid, I would say, like leaning more towards a liquid. So I feel like if I use my beauty blender, it just sucks it all up. Like I have to use like five pumps instead of one or two. And that's a bummer. So I don't do that. So why I do this, because the foundation is pretty self-explanatory, I'm going to explain what I did on her eyebrows. So I used the Anastasia pomade, the brow pomade, just because it's really long lasting. And on this brow, there was a little spot right there I wanted to fill in. And to me, the pomade or pencil looks more natural. I really love doing like brow powders because it's very soft, very natural, but I feel like if I'm reshaping part of the brow, I have to use a pomade. I have to use something with more pigment. And we'll show you guys her like full before video at the end. But a lot of people have this, their brows look a little bit bigger right here and then we just get really thin as we go. But sometimes it thins out too much here. So I'll just connect it. Like I'll connect the bigger part up to their arch and it really opens up the face. And it's super subtle. Like thick brows I feel like are really trendy, but I still like to go with what people have. Like if someone doesn't naturally have like a crazy thick, like I'm trying to think of a celebrity with really thick brows and I can't right now. I don't want to like give them that. I can't 
can't think of one with thick brows either. I know. I can think of Brooke Shields, but yeah. I feel like she's not. I'm trying to think of someone like... I'm trying to now. <laughs> I can't Help us out, guys, <laughs> in the chat room. Tell us people with thick brows. They're so pretty, though. I love, like, naturally really, really full brows. I did a bride, like, last week, and I told her, I'm like, you're the only person I've never had to put anything on their brows. Like, they were really thick, and she had just gotten them waxed. Oh, that's and nice. And they were perfect. Like, there was, like, not a spot. The bottom was, I like the bottom to be really clean and defined, yeah. and then I like the top to be feathered, and hers, like, naturally were like that. I'm like, you're very lucky. People pay for that. People get microbladed <laughs> <laughs> to have this. Okay, we are going to contour her. This is the Too Faced. This is the medium chocolate soleil. I like this one for my tan girls. I love the Hula bronzer too. That one's my favorite. If I feel like you're pretty tan, you can pull off the. <laughs> you want to feel like you are. And I'm more like. I'll do different types of contouring, like, like heavy contouring and stuff like that, but usually I'm more like it for warmth in the face. Like I'll go around someone's forehead and under their cheekbones just to give their face more shape now that I've kind of whited it out with foundation. And I will go, I always go around the forehead and then sometimes I'll go along the temple line and connect it to the cheeks depending on how much space there is. Like sometimes people's hairline is so close to the brow bone, it doesn't matter if you put color there or not. Put a little bit on the bottom of her chin. I'm going to use setting powders just in places I don't want to be shiny. I like like the natural sheen her skin is giving off right now, like in areas like this. Um, but I like to mattify just these little areas because I don't usually like those to be shiny. So I'm just going to go in with Laura Mercier. If someone is very oily, your, your skin is more like pretty balanced, right? Mm -hmm. We were talking about that. So she doesn't actually get really oily on her skin. So I'm just going to go in with a brush and just lightly put in some setting powder in these areas. If they were really oily, if she got really oily throughout the day, some people get oily instantly. Like mm -hmm. you put powder on them and it's like, whoa, it's, <laughs> it's shiny again. I will use my beauty blender and press the powder into the skin. But I don't want to mattify these areas so much that it's unnatural. I still want them to be a little bit glowy. So if you use a brush, it's a lot lighter. Okay. Another thing I really love is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. So pretty to put on like larger areas of the face. It's almost like a finishing powder and a highlighter. Like you can spread it out a little bit wider, and it's not gonna look chunky glitter. And then this one is the Becca Champagne Pop, and it broke, which is very sad. <laughs> the Becca, I've heard this one breaks a lot. Like my friends that have the, have you ever used the Becca powders? I haven't, no. They are so pretty. Like they're my favorite highlighters because they just look really glowy instead of like chunky glitter. But they're so soft that they break easy. It's almost like a cream when you put it on. Kind of. Yeah. Like it's definitely a powder, but it, it does. It looks like it as if you put like a liquid or something on. It's more natural looking. Yeah, it's pretty. And I'm not even sad that they break because I feel like it, to prevent that they'd have to change the formula and then I wouldn't like right. <laughs> the product as much. Okay. I'm going to use, I think this is Warm Soul by MAC. It's like a mineralized blush. It's really pretty if you like to go natural. Like I almost just, I like the warmth in her skin so I almost just want her to look really bronzy. And this is the perfect color for that. And it has a little bit of glow in it too. To take advantage of your tiny pores and do <laughs> glow everywhere. Thank you. You can do glowy stuff on bigger pores too, but definitely, I feel like the more highlighter you do, it's gonna emphasize texture, which is fine. You just have to be aware of it. 
but you don't have any, so you're good. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a neutral lip on you. You said you usually kind of go like more brown based. Uh, I like the taupey kind for my, like my day to day, and then when I really want to go crazy, I do like the brights. Do like that. Yeah, a bright, bright, bright hot pink. It's fun. Yeah, hot it works pink with, would be cute. It works with blonde hair. So I love hot pink on blondes. Let's do. Let's do spirit. I think. So I'm gonna, what were you gonna say? I was gonna ask if you use lip liner at all or you just use matte. I do, If like if I was doing you before a night out, I would do lip liner because it lasts longer. But that's more why I use it. You don't really need it. I just feel like the lip liners are more dry so they really stick to your lip and if you do a lipstick over top, it will stay longer. The brand Lime Crime, either they just came out with lip liners or just Heard of them but they're so good like they stay all day I just got a couple last week to try so I like those I like those like if I only have a couple shades of lipstick like in my personal kit I'll stick some liners in there because you can change the undertones like okay. if you want it to be more kinky or something yeah. this one's probably like three steps darker than like a nude. I like the nude look, but sometimes I feel like it looks a little washed out. I like, like a nude with some punch, a bit of color. Probably do a, a little gloss on you. Do you do liner usually? It depends on what I'm, if, it, if the brighter the color is, yes I do. Yeah. Especially if you do like a bright pink because yes, it lasts longer. It does. And I, I think it looks really funny to have that super bright color without a little darker line. Yeah. Not like crayon dark, but you know, just a little bit. Yeah, I get what you're saying for sure. Plus when you go really bright, I feel like you want your edges to be perfect. Yes. Like it looks more professional if... And polished. Yes. I feel like with nudes you can slap it on. No big deal. <laughs> like it's fine. <laughs> but you're driving with a cup of coffee. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> driving with your knee. I don't do that. Maybe. Maybe. I feel like that's a girl thing. <laughs> Drive your stick shift with one hand. I watched my mom do it. She would put makeup on while drinking a cup of coffee while oh through the California traffic. I'm like, how does she do that? That is very it's telling. Scary. It's that straight is down. Because yeah. you don't want to spill that pot. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's go back to the eyes I'm gonna go let me see let's do some liner underneath so I'm gonna take that brown liner I think in her waterline a little bit that would be pretty and then smoke out her bottom her bottom lash line I'm excited for you to see you're looking pretty excited too and you already had like you went out tonight already are you gonna do anything after this Maybe. Maybe. Awesome. The night is still young. Look up for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in her waterline a little bit, but not too much. Like a good amount over on the edge, and then I'm just going to go tilt your head down just a little perfect and still look up. Great. I started on the edge in her waterline, and then I'm transitioning like almost right under her little lashes. I'm gonna thicken this up a little bit. Got me. Perfect. That's pretty. I think this is a Maybelline liner. This is like my only drugstore thing in my kit, but it's like the prettiest brown because it's really soft. It's like a, I don't even know it's what kind of brown. It's very pretty. It's like a step under chocolate. It's like milk chocolate. That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah. It's like a melted <laughs> it does. Hershey bar. It, does. it is Hershey bar brown. Yeah. It's perfect. Because sometimes, sometimes browns are so dark, like they just look black. Like when I use a brown one, I want it to be softer. I feel like it makes your eyes look bigger to do a brown because it's not as harsh. It just like smokes them out. Okay, you can blink a couple times. 
Your eyes have done good. They haven't so far? looked like they've watered. Yeah. I think we're getting there. With, yeah, that part. I should have had you blink <laughs> sooner. All right, look up for me. It's like a little baby kabuki brush. It's really good for like cleaning up things under the eyes or like buffing out like if your concealer creases or something like that. Which we're gonna add a little bit of under eye concealer now. And this is Tarte Shape Tape. Have you ever used these? You like Tarte. I like Tarte, but I haven't used their concealer. It's really good. It's definitely very thick. Actually, you would probably like it for, like, if you like your very light foundation mm -hmm. and you just have a couple things you want to cover, it's, like, super creamy. Does it blend easily with mm -hmm. your foundation? Yeah, if you get the right color. Like, usually I pull, I pulled out two for you today, like, one for your face and mm -hmm. then one for, um, one for under your eye. When you put the concealer on under your eye, do you also blend it with the blender ball? Yeah. Do you have one? I do. I just haven't used it. I love it. What do you use to put on your foundation? I have a brush from Tarte. That's what was recommended at Ulta. Yeah. No, brushes are awesome. If it works for you with a brush, I love the brushes. The beauty blenders are a little bit high maintenance. I feel like you have to clean it super yeah. often because they kind of fill up with crud. Yeah, but they work well. They just make everything look super airbrushed. I go back and forth. Like I'll I'll go like a year and just use brushes on clients mm -hmm. and love it, and then I'll be like, oh, I miss my beauty blenders, and then I'll use those. I think I like the beauty blenders so much for under the eyes because it soaks up like half the product. Like I don't want there to be a ton of concealer under the eyes. Yeah, with like yellow and kind of under Yeah. I do probably like a little bit more for the camera than I normally would like on you day to day, but. So for some looks, like when I'm doing more glam, I like to brighten the under eye area. I think it's pretty. Um, so I will do, like, I went, like, a half shade lighter on your concealer. I don't like to go too much lighter. It can look funny. So when I do that, when I go lighter, I mm -hmm. bring it down. Like, I do, like, a triangle. Okay. Let's add a bit more of that shimmer. It's giving your eyes a little break, and then we'll add, we'll add some shadow underneath and the mascara, and then you're all done. color highlighter is really pretty because that has like a light gold undertone so I feel like it works with a lot of different skin tones. Especially for tan. Okay. I'm going to take like a, this is like a pressed brush, like the Ferrell's pressed. So it's like flat a little bit and I'm going to go in with that soft brown color again. And just brush it under her eyes. I really like like a smoke of color under the eyes for a little bit of drama. Like I like this versus a really dark lid. Then I'm gonna take like basically a, just a really skinny version of that brush. Like a little and go with the darker, darker color. And this one, this one's almost like an eyeliner again, so I'm keeping mm. it pretty close to your lashes. I don't like any lines under the eyes. Like I don't like a line of liner. I like to buff it out. And more so just like on the outside edges. Okay. I don't think we need to curl her. Usually I like to curl the lashes. Like to give it that extra pop, but you just must have good natural lashes that stand up. They look good. I 
And this is Too Faced. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara. Go ahead and look down for me. Perfect. And I'm just going to press your natural lashes up. When you use, when you're wearing a fake lash, it does not matter what mascara you use. Like, it doesn't matter what the brush is because you're not trying to, like, thicken or separate or lengthen because you already put a lash on for that. It just matters that, like, it's not going to clump or right. irritate you. Right. Because it makes your eyes water, right, having mascara. It Sometimes, yeah. Is it different brands or just, it's just, like, having the mascara on it? Well, definitely there's a difference with the different brands. I think the better brands are... They don't cause as much of an issue. I, I definitely can't use drugstore brands on my eyes anymore. Right. Look up for me. Yeah, it was probably nice for you when you had the lash extensions then, huh? It was. I really am thinking about doing Latisse again. I did it once and it worked, but you just have to keep doing it. Latisse is so awesome. You do. You like have to be have loyal to, to it because once you stop, it goes away. But when you use it, like I had people do that that wanted lash extensions, but their own were really stubby. I'm like, we can do lashes, but we have to do short ones. So your natural yeah. ones are okay. And we put them on Latisse, and I'm like, I have to trim your lashes. They're too long. <laughs> yes. You can like tint your natural lashes. Like if you did Latisse, you mm -hmm. could dye yours black and you can like curl, like perm them. Really? Yeah, and then you would just have like these perfect little lashes. They would like look like Sounds extensions. Like you have the prettiest eyes. Okay. Thank you. So I'm just gonna explain it. I'm gonna have you look down and I'm gonna explain kind of what we did and then tell you how you could do it smoky. So actually open it again. So when she opens it, her eyes a little bit extended because of that view we did. Go ahead and close. And we kept this lid light just so she didn't look too dramatic. I did a really full thick lash on her and I smoked out the side. I didn't want her to look too dark. <laughs> but if you want to go smoky, do the exact same thing with the V. Do the same colors even, like this really light brown and then the medium brown. But then on the lid, do like a darker shimmer. And then when you smoke out your corner, just go darker. So same thing, you just switch these two colors. And then your look is completely different. I'm going to grab a little mirror for you. Actually, before I show you... Let's play her before picture really quick so you guys can see this little place in her brow I filled in. I think that was really all we did before the camera. We just filled in your brows. All right. You ready to see? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I look like one of those filters on Facebook. <laughs> the makeup, you know, that makes you look like yeah. a glamour movie star. <laughs> those lashes are pretty on you. Wow. I'm about to be 40, y'all. I look pretty um, good. You look hot. You look good for Thank you. Thank you. This is really good. <laughs> okay, so how do I sleep in this so it lasts until Saturday? Okay, so it lasts until Saturday. I wouldn't recommend that. But you Looks can good. you can wash your face tonight and leave your eyes on. They'll wow. probably stay if you're not like a face sleeper. You wear it for tomorrow. I'm not a face sleeper. I will sleep standing upright so this stays on. This looks good. Thank you, you so, so much. Welcome. Thank you for being my I model. love it. Thank guys, you. I met. appreciate it. We met online. Thank you for being my model. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I have models lined up now. I had a hard time getting them in the summer, but we are booked till December. We will usually do Thursdays at 8 p.m. So uh, next week, Thursday. Thank you. Bye, guys.